Welcome to Typetune Tutorial. This project includes the original Typetune plugin files, available in 2K quality, for use in both After Effects and Premiere Pro software. You can download both files together or separately. After downloading, you will also receive a PDF file that thoroughly explains how to use the files and their settings. Additionally, a link to download the fonts used in the files is provided by clicking on here to download a zip file containing all the fonts. Let's start by reviewing the After Effects files. Consisting of 64 files, each with a preview for you to choose from. For example, let's open file number 10 with its preview and then double-click on the After Effects file to open it. Alright, let's first watch the animation of this file. Each file comes with settings that allow you to make various changes such as toggling shadows, adjusting line positions, turning the background on and off, and many other modifications. You can easily make changes to the text by entering the line composition, selecting the text layer, and editing it. Each line accommodates 15 characters, totaling 30 characters with the second line. You have the flexibility to write anything you desire. The second line is also editable in the same manner. Please note that more than 15 characters cannot be written. Let's watch the animation again. As you can see, there are no issues with the animation. If you wish to disable a line, simply turning off the composition won't work. You need to go into the composition and disable the text layer but remember not to delete the layer to prevent file corruption. Moving on to Premiere Pro. To use the Mogart files, Open the Essential Graphics window from the Window menu. Alright, I enter a section where I have placed the Mogart files. The quantity and numbers of Mogart files do not differ from the After Effects files, and you can use previews to select them. I select file number 38. Drag and drop the Mogart file into the Essential Graphics window and then onto the timeline. You may encounter a prompt to change sequence settings. Click on it to open the file and view the animation. The file may be a bit heavy, but to use the settings, select the layer and edit the text for the first and second lines. Alright, this section is for editing colors, but I am working with the transform section. I want to swap the second text. Since the content has become too long, I think it would be better here. Thank you for watching.